Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 13. It's a little dreary and cloudy. Got a little fog to burn off, but today, today is our first event of the year. We're headed to Gibtown. Gonna let the fog burn off, and then we're hitting the road. Mama Badger's bike's ready to go. Old Silver's ready. And uh, let's go have a little fun today and get in a ride. Grab some coffee first, though. Here we go. First leg is over. We're stopped at what? What motorcycle trip wouldn't be complete without a stop at the Waffle House? How you doing there? Good Are we gonna have to change you to Granny Ma Badger or what? I mean, it's been a bit. How was My your face is all tingly from the highway? How was your uh, arms are filling in. Your new bars. Awesome. Did you like them? I love them. All right. Ready for some lunch? I'm starving. All right, let's go. All right, we've waffled. Ooh, look, it's getting all foggy. Oh, I wonder is. if the I wonder if the actual screen's foggy. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Can you see it? <laughs> you got the belly rub. How about now? <laughs> I'll do that. That's better. Anyway, the Waffle House is done. We we're sticking to time. the diet, and now um, we're Big headed thing. to Gib Town. Here we go. Ready? Hey. All right, guys. We are here. Gib Town Bike Fest. Guess what? Nobody else is here. Like we got to park right up front. We've never got to park up front. Nobody is here. This is awesome. Angie's bummed. I'm excited. I get to see all the stuff and uh, nobody will be like in my way. How cool is that? Yeah, it depends. Do you want to see people or not see people? <laughs> you know me. I love to see people. Anyway, we're going to go in and check it out. Let's go. You ready? Are you ready with yeah. your Waffle House cup? Two o'clock is when Gary Michaels, the hypnotist, is. And we're like 1.30 right now, I think. I don't know. All right, so we took like three steps inside the door, and the stage is here. And then look at who we ran into. Say hi to Gary! What's up? High Seas Rally rocks! You guys remember Gary from the High Seas Rally um, and Mama Badger and him trying to put him under and that not working because she was cold. Well, anyway, we walked right in the door. Here he is. I think he's getting ready to perform up on the stage, which is freaking awesome. But uh, that's what's what's happened so far. We got a bar over here, bar back there, and then vendors all back through here. We'll take you through some of them here in a little bit. All right, guys. So we found one of our favorites at these events. Biker General is in the house. You guys have seen this. I have my little. Motor. In fact, we had our we had our moto meetup at Daytona at his booth last um, fall. But anyway, here's his booth. He's got it beautifully laid out. Lots of helmets. Mama, lots of helmets, glasses. I mean, you pretty much name it. He has got it. Um, gloves, luggage, vests, belts, blingy belts. Whatever you want, he's got it. Come check him out. Tell him the Badgers sent you. All right, so when you get to Gib Town, you saw the area we came in, and then there's a whole area of vendors inside under there, and then there's a whole ton of vendors. There's Mama out here as well. So you can look at all of them inside and then outside, and then usually they have a bike show probably over the weekend that's in that barn right there. Anyway, let's see what kind of vendors they got here.
Now just imagine our faces in them. Mama got caught. I just walked on, but she stopped to talk to one of the vendors. So I'm just kind of over here hanging, waiting for her to come along. Come on guys, y'all get up close. Ooh, one of these girls just grabbed my ass. You're welcome. Hey, girl. Yeah, how do I know it was a girl, right? So that Well, I lost mama. Want to guess where I found her? President so I'm going to have him show us around and we'll do like little clips of like the different things from the event and then I know you want their feedback but so far it's been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. all big to German Oktoberfest theming. So it's pretty cool. Perfect. It was extremely scary. I, you know, I, like I said, I've seen a lot of tornadoes. I've been involved in the earthquake. Uh, nothing like this. This was, uh, my pucker factor was in the red. Let's say that. Was anybody in there? No, luckily it was a vacation home this time of year. There's not very many people there. So, but I look at the bright side of things. Number one, being on national television on all the, the channels, which I didn't see coming. That's great publicity for somebody like me. You know? If they knew me, they're like, okay, there's a TV we camera. We already think he's famous in the motorcycle world, but now we've like blown him up. To right? 
and, and my friends will tell you if there's a, a camera or a microphone I'm going to find it uh, I hate the circumstances but that's the bright side but on the other side of that when that monstrosity which we all don't like anyway when they finally remove that from my balcony I now have the front property so. <laughs> uh, woohoo yeah I mean that's the good if you one. live in Florida that's a great thing say. it is it is it, again I want to thank everybody thank you guys for talking about this right now I want to thank everybody who reached out we're to glad me. you're okay yes we because... were okay everybody my grandkids my children April were all fine but let me tell you it was very very scary put it out on support bike as Florida we'll get anybody out there if you need anything for right I've, I've laid my bike down a couple of years ago and it was nothing that was scary but nothing this like is, this yeah. right here no. so you heard him say that um, Mother Nature slapped him in the face. She, it's not she, the first woman that's done that. No, that's not the first woman that ever slapped me in the face, but not just, as hard. Just the baddest. <laughs> not as hard. Rock on, guys. Thank you. Love y'all. And go. I got my t-shirt to support. We don't have Gary talk about. Robert L. Howard Foundation, uh, which this year is a little something different here at the Gibb Town Bike Fest. The portions of the proceeds from Gibb Town, they're given back to the Robert L. Howard uh, Foundation, which was a police officer who wrecked his bike. Obviously, something fatal happened a week before he wanted to sell his bike. So it's a very heart-wrenching story. I, I'll let them tell you guys about that. Yeah, but the, the, the good part, yeah, April was too. She yeah. started crying. Yeah. You know? Uh, but that's the one thing about the biker community that I love. I love the biker community as much as I love my hunting and fishing buddies, my skydiving buddies, my martial arts buddies. I, I just love those communities because when something like this happens, everybody pulls together. Uh, and the fact that Gibb Town, for the first time, is giving portions of the proceeds back to this foundation is, to me, is completely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rock on. All right, we can't have a, we cannot have a bike event with no bikes in the video. So here we go. Got a car, more bikes. Hi guys, so you guys know that on one of my videos last year, I said anyhow a lot, any, any who, anyhow, I don't even remember what I was saying, anywhere, but anyway, Bob, Bob called me on that, and he's like, you say it an awful lot, so that's where anywho came from, so now when you hear me say that, that is to replace, thank you, thank you, that is to replace what he uh, he caught me on on my videos, but anyway, he's down from Michigan, <laughs> and we got to meet him here at Gibb Town. Thanks for coming and saying hi. That's it. That is a wrap for Gibb Town 2024. short of home what happened honey i got rained on. <laughs> i'm freezing are you cold yeah i'm really not that bad three as far miles as cold goes. come on three miles <laughs>
We only need three more miles to get home without getting wet. All right, we're home. We're wet, but at least we can be dry pretty quickly. And uh, we had a good day. Did you have a good day? I had an awesome day. <laughs> I get to be so many awesome people. You see Gary Michaels and hang out with him and Scott with the bikers did. And yeah, it was awesome. Have a good day. Had a great day. We're gonna go dry off and find some food. All right, we're dry, we're full. That's a wrap. I'm gonna call it a day on Gibtown Bike Fest and it's the weekend and it's gonna be colder. So I'll probably go out and get started on the 99 tomorrow. And uh, yeah, work is done for the weekend. Right, Ange? She laughs at me. Always something to do, right? It doesn't matter what. There's always something. Anyway, we had a great day today. Got to see lots of people that we know. And uh, we got a good ride in. Mama said she liked her new crash bars. And the bike went, did good. My bike did good. I think we're ready to travel this summer. So bring it on. See you tomorrow.